The Real Housewives of Potomac is serving major drama and girl, the tea is piping hot. Juan Dixon got exposed for allegedly being a creep and we got receipts, honey. But it turns out that his wife, Robin, is not here for people speaking on her husband and is clapping back hard. So on the last episode of the show, Karen Huger accused Robin's husband, Juan, of asking her to be in a three-way with him and Robin, as well as being inappropriate toward her. So why am I you, Karen? Is that what you're trying no, to say? No, That's no. That's ridiculous. Uh, 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 he did touch me. He he did make me feel he inappropriate. And then in a flashback, we see her going into more detail about the incident, claiming that Juan has hugged her so tight that it made her feel uncomfortable. Karen did tell me that one of the husbands hugged her inappropriately and it took her a very long time to get past it. I had the same experience with another husband in this group. He pulls me into him, he squeezed me so tight, my breast went back to my backbone, I kid you not. That's uncomfortable, that's touching. While the other housewives dismissed Karen's statements, it's interesting to note that this is not the first time that Juan has been dragged into a harassment case. Back in November, he was dragged into a lawsuit that was filed by a woman who accused him of failing to take action against a staffer that was allegedly harassing, tormenting, and SAing the team member then blackmailed him and released explicit material of the accuser when he failed to meet the employee's demands. So what this means is that he was made aware that his assistant coach was catfishing, harassing, and SAing a student, and he just looked the other way and pretended like nothing happened. Yeah, that's pretty sus. The reason I'm bringing this lawsuit up is that it's related to Karen's incident that he weirded her out and made her feel uncomfortable. This drama gets even juicier, honey, because one of his exes has come forward to accuse him of being creepy toward her, as well as trying to force her to do the nasty with one of his friends. This is interesting because Karen also claimed on the show that Juan had a secret girlfriend and was cheating on Robin. What she said is that Juan has this girlfriend who looks like Karen. So this woman now coming forward to expose Juan just makes this a whole lot more interesting to say the least. The woman who is staying anonymous started off the tea by saying, I dated him during the end of COVID for over a year. The last time I was there was about 70 weeks ago. He's a player. I can't stand him and how he treats females. It's funny how she says 70 weeks ago, like she looked at the Instagram story, y'all. <laughs> I'm crying. She then said, I am from Canada. He would fly me out. He actually acts almost like a predator. And I have spoken with other females about this and they also agree. When she was asked if Robin knew about her, she said, yes, she knows about me. She then claimed that Robin and Juan's relationship was for PR only saying, yes, exactly, all for TV. I have no reason to lie and I never made it public. I do have receipts, but Robin has asked me to not make this public. I'm ready for the truth to be told and I'm fine with staying anon. I'm not looking for any gratification or clout. She continued, he is a creep. He passes the girls he's with to his friends and they pretty much do the nasty as a group. I wasn't down and we haven't spoken again. He uses girls. I can show you the friend. He said he was going to pick me up and drive me to the airport. And then this guy came to my hotel room door with his pants down demanding a gawk gawk. I was very scared. Okay, y'all, this is a hot stinking mess, especially the part about him forcing girls to do the nasty with his friends without seeking their consent first. She also dropped receipts to back up her claim by posting Posting this picture of a hotel invoice from when he flew her into town and booked her a room at the Cambier Hotel. Whew, this is just a whole lot to deal with y'all. Someone commented, that's why he doesn't like being on camera when they are filming, nor does he show up for reunions. When he's on camera, it's always brief and he has an attitude. And this other person said, this is why Juan is never on the show or at a reunion. He is not trying to answer any questions pertaining to him. Well, Robin is choosing to stick by her man and she went on a podcast, Virtual Reality, where she defended Juan against all allegations. What was even funnier to me was that Karen, like those words actually came out of Karen's mouth. I'm like, you don't think you sound ridiculous? I mean, I, I think Karen is letting you all know who she thinks about every night when she goes to bed. I mean, the delusion, it's like obvious that she wants, she wishes there was a little something there. She then admitted that Juan did proposition Karen with an offer of a three-way, but claimed that he was just messing around. And this is what she had to say about Karen's claims about Juan hugging her too tightly. She sounded like she's been sheltered all her life and has never had an interaction with, you know, a friendly interaction with a man. And I was just like, you know, this clearly was him being playful. When I watched the episode, I was like, you know what, this is actually borderline dangerous because I felt like she was implying something that 
didn't have, you know, that just. Well, she is standing by her man and sending a clear message to Karen to keep Juan's name out her mouth. And she got smoked online because people were coming for her saying things like, that's why I stopped watching these reality TV shows. Robin knows this ish is going on. I said what I said, 100. And it's real funny how Robin stays in everybody else's business while acting like she has none. And Robin is the type of chick that will tell the victims that they're lying, shaking my head. That's what type of chick she is. Just heartless and can't be trusted. No accountability on her part. Not even the years of bullying that her and Giselle have done to Karen. They talked about her age, her looks, her marriage, her business, her misfortune with the tax issues. They even made claims that her husband didn't want her. Once again, y'all this is just a hot stinking mess but i really want to know what y'all think in the comments below about this drama do you believe karen or do you think that she's just trying to start some ish let me know y'all thoughts and in the meantime ooh, you gotta check out this next video because mm, child it's your girl kiki with the hottest tea peace Perfect.